Hello and welcome to Conquering Alba, where we take you to the historical places that help make Scotland what it is today. Today we are in the Easter House area of Glasgow as we visit Proven Hall. Proven Hall was most likely built in the 1460s, which makes it one of the oldest buildings in Glasgow. In about 1120, a vast estate of some 5,000 acres covering much of what is now the northeastern part of Glasgow was granted to the church by David I. Its income supported the prebendary of Balarnock, or Ballarnock, one of the canons of the chapter of Glasgow Cathedral. Because its income derived from the estate rather than the church itself, it was used as a particularly valuable post, and holders included two illegitimate sons of Stuart kings, and according to some accounts, James IV.
within Provenhall there are projectors which share the history of the area and of the people who lived here. In the early 1500s, William Bailey, along with his wife, Elizabeth Durham, was appointed to the post of prebendary, and as was becoming of common in the decades before the Reformation in Scotland, the distinction between the church ownership and private ownership became rather blurred. By the time the Reformation arrived in 1560, the post of prebendary had been passed down through several generations of the Bailey family, and in 1562, Sir William Bailey, who was also Lord President of the Court of Session, formally took over the ownership of Provenhall and its estate. Then by 1647, Provenhall had passed by marriage to Sir Robert Hamilton, who was responsible for building the walls on the north and south sides of the courtyard, and possibly the south range. In 1667, Sir Robert sold Provenhall and the estate to the borough of Glasgow. They rented the hall to another family of Hamiltons, who remained here for five generations until 1729, when the borough council broke up the estate and sold off the hall. The hall later came into the ownership of Dr John Buchanan, who made extensive changes to the south range. The hall remains the focus of a working farm until the last of his family died without heirs in 1934. When the last owners died, they left the building and their debts to the housekeeper Mary Holmes. Mary knew the importance of the building and worked hard to save it. With the help of a Adrader Boyd, they succeeded in their efforts to save Proven Hall and repairs took place in the 1930s. In 1938, the National Trust of Scotland took over ownership and restored the site. Mary Holmes lived here at Proven Hall until the 1950s. The initials above the bed, W, B and E, D, represent William Bailey and his wife, Elizabeth Durham. They were both supporters of Mary Queen of Scots, and Elizabeth Durham wrote to Mary Queen of Scots personally to invite her to Proven Hall on several occasions. Thank you. 
We hope you've enjoyed today's video here at Proven Hall. With it being one of Glasgow's oldest surviving medieval buildings, it is amazing that it was saved to still be here today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more of Scotland's historical places, and until next time, Alba Gobra.